welcome back to the fucking podcast. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and boys. I'm a girl. We have a special guest okay. today. He is a uh, V1 player. Mm. Hometown hero. Yeah. I would go as far as saying superstar. Yeah. Goes by many names. Some people call him daddy. Some people call him daddy. Some people call him Jeff. Some people call him Hefe. <laughs> Some people might even call him coach. And some may even call him Zaddy. Yeah, it's one and only Jeff Espirito. El Hefe. So guys, thanks for having me on this podcast. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Thank you for showing up, bro. Uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad I made it. I'm glad. I'm really glad I made it. <laughs> shit, shit. Okay, dope. All right. Okay, uh, before kicking it off, if you want to explain, like, what were, you, what were you up to before, like, showing up here today? Oh, today? You mean today, right? Yeah, yeah. today. Oh, uh, I had a session coaching kids from Causeway Bay, you know, okay. age of from maybe like 8 mm. to 13. Okay. Yeah, most of them primary kids, so like they're they level, ball? Yeah. Like no, no, like, no, this is just like uh, for fun. Oh, so leisure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So it's like those fun classes, extracurricular. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So okay. nothing too serious. Okay. Just hang out with them. Okay. And I guess it's off season right now? It's off season right now, yeah, you're right. Okay, okay. Pretty yeah. much right. Shit, when does the season start? Starts. Training starts around April, May. Oh, oh so it's around the corner. Yeah, it's around the corner. And then games should be around July, June, July. June? Maybe even August. I'm not sure. Okay, okay. Yeah, somewhere there. As long as they tell you to hoop, you're ready to hoop, right? Fuck yeah. Okay. I'm ready. And for those who don't know, what team do you play for? I play for a team here in Hong Kong. It's called South China. It's the team in Hong Kong. God damn! <laughs> Hold on! Big athletics association. association. Ah, there you go. Yeah, Shit. athletic association. Shit. So then training camps around the corner. Okay, cool. And uh, how long have you been playing for South China? Oh, uh, it's currently my second year. Mm. Yeah. What's but that like? I, I've been into their uh, their other team. So South China has two teams. One okay. is uh, Namcheng. Right. And okay. one is like the main South China. So, so is it's that like, the game that we went to? Yes. That was the game you guys went to. The Namcheng one. Okay. Ah. And yeah. is it kind of like an... LA Lakers, LA Clippers type thing, or is it like G League NBA type thing? I feel, I feel like it's a G League and an NBA type thing, you know. Mm. So there so is you, the you got the main squad, and then you got another squad that's like you know maybe developing younger players. Oh, okay. Uh, so if if they're ready, if they're like ready to hoop, they move up. Oh, so it it is like oh, if your better players are getting better, we'll take them. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it goes that's by a possibility. Selection. Yeah, it's a selection. Because huh? yeah, there's no tryouts or anything. Oh shit! You don't, so the they just, they they just contact you. Hmm? Damn. Directly, yeah. Okay. That, that was that was my cue. Sheesh. I thought I was done. And then boom. South China, you wanna play? I like, yes, sure. I'll okay. go for it. Shit, okay. Oh, yeah. there's, there's a lot of unfold on that part, but I think before kinda of jumping into what you're doing right now, mm. I think maybe like we kinda of wanna know more about like kind of your your upbringing, your background. Right. So um you're six two, six one? Uh, I'm around one eight five, one eight six cm. That's like six one. Okay. Yeah, around six six one. Yeah, six, six two six, on one. a good day, by the way. Okay, guys. six Come two on a good day. Uh, yeah, six two on a good day. He's not a short king. He's a clearly tall person. Okay, and but especially as an Asian, that's a pretty tall height. Yeah, I was like, I always wondered why was I so tall. Yeah. But when I met my mom's side, their side of the family, uh, I knew why I was tall. All of them were like, "Oh, so yeah, tall. yeah, so so they're tall, so they're tall, they're tall." So it's your mom's side. Not mm-hmm. your, you not my see dad. your dad. You I'm see my dad, bro. Yeah, he's <laughs> he ain't that tall. Shit. Okay. Yeah. And your brother's also pretty tall. I've seen your brother. Yeah, he's like pretty tall, dude. Okay, shit. He's pretty tall, but no sports though. Oh. No sports. Wait, what? I just you... me, just me. I'm the only sports guy at home. Uh, he, he's, he's, but he does cheerleading. I was back in the days, dog. Oh, so he's not actually. I, I think he's just focused on studying right now. I okay, think. Hey, that's good. That's yeah. big ups, man. Not everyone can be a superstar like that. So, yo, hit the books. <laughs> I mean, that's the truth. I think a lot of people got hoop dreams. Yeah. And I feel like sometimes you're gonna have to like admit, like you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But while we're on the topic of hoop dreams, so I guess I want to ask, like, has it always been basketball? I mean, obviously your growth spurt happened in high school, I'm guessing, or. For sure. Yeah. For sure. It started way back ago when I was like, like. Really young, my my dad gave me a ball in my hand, and I would just follow him around. Mm. But it never got serious until it reached high school, you know. Okay. Yeah. So it was more like a leisure thing, the Filipino thing to do, play basketball. Yeah, yeah. It was just for fun. It was it's a fun sport for sure. Okay. But it was never like I'm going all in. I'm gonna try to do this and do that. Okay. Mm. Until high school. Yeah. And then you felt like oh I could actually go pro or like you wanted to go pro. Not really like pro, but I feel like I could compete. I could compete with other guys. I may not be as athletic, I guess, you know, mm-hmm. like dunking and stuff like that, but 
as you know like basketball is more than just being like f- more than just physicality yeah. Right, right. You think in the game, right? Like, what's the next move? What's the right move? And stuff like that. And th- at that part, I feel like I could compete with with that part of the game. Which like, is obviously yeah, a higher yeah, level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's sure. kind of a mature take. So how old were you when this this realization came? It's the, the Enoch question. phase. It was the Enoch phase. You're right. Ah. Really? You're right. Yeah, yeah. It was around form <laughs> form four, form form four, form five. That's pretty late, though. That's pretty late. Yeah. Damn. But oh. I, I always been hooping. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it just never kicked in. I was like. I never took it seriously until that Form 3 summer or Form 4 summer. Damn. Yeah. Uh, also, for those who don't know what the Enoch phase is, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's our high school uh, it's, basketball coach. It's our dad. It's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Love God, guys. And, and we say we because we have yeah, same thing, uh, same alimatur, same mm. thing from high school. Uh, Jen, same thing. Food of Enoch right here. God damn it. There's a lot of iconic, uh, iconic phrases from Mr. Wong, uh, whether it be have fun. Get a wee band. Get a wee band. Or, or most notably, uh, pass the ball to Jeff. <laughs> pass the p- but yeah, oh, so yeah, pass the ball to Jeff. So if anyone is in similar years as us, that that phrase goes hits yeah. home. It's home. Yeah, yeah, I remember that phase. So wait, phase so Mr. Really well. you, so you feel like Mr. Wong kind of opened your eyes to like you competing like that? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. He was always pushing me. You know, you're, Jeff, you're so skinny. Yada yada yada. Oh. You want to keep playing basketball? You gotta do this. Like he's always been advising me to do stuff, but I never really like. Took it serious. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He took it for granted. Yeah, a little bit. And then, but he meant well, though. Like, he knew I could like really compete in the next level, so I really tried it out. It was that uh, 2014 Nike League. You remember Nike League? Oh yeah. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah. That's when I came to realize, holy, holy shoot, like I'm here. So Mr. Wong played a big part of like why I started really working on my game. Yeah. Was, there's a couple guys too, a couple coaches that I knew that really pushed me. Yeah. And just. Yeah, just Damn, I, I, I didn't know Mr. Wong played that big of a role. Oh, I, mean, I love Mr. Yeah. Wong, but yeah. You guys been to Mr. Wong's uh, church camp? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was a blessing. I too. heard you cried. I did. I did cry. You, you, you want to share it with you? Oh. So I think we were having it's, so it's a church camp, right? Yeah, we had the. There's usually like a prayer. Yeah. Wait, wait, are you religious? Before? I'm so sorry. I, I, I am. I'm a Catholic. You have any uh, God tattoos? I see you have one. Of your, you have any like. Not yet, not yet. Uh, not, not yet, yet. Yeah, not yet. So keep going. Soon. Uh, so it was like a church camp, and then one of it was like a three-day camp. And one of those days we had to go into a what do you call it? A chapel? A chapel. No, it's uh, something like a setup, like you know, where every, like a gathering. Yeah, like a gathering. Yeah, like just, a prayer. Yeah, gathering. like a prayer. Okay. Yeah. So I think the the father or the pastor was like, uh, look to your left and look to your right, and like tell them how you how I really feel, right? Mm. I looked at Mr. Wong. Without saying a word, I started crying, dog. Damn. I was like, wow. I was like, Mr. Wong, I was like, thank you for everything. You've been looking out for me ever since Form 3. Form 3 is where we had the uh, elective subjects, right? Yeah. Right? Form 4. Oh, form 4, sorry. It was Form 4. Oh, right, right, right. Right, right so I was stuck with him with f- from Form 4 till Form 6. And he was almost like a dad figure, to be honest, dude. Shit. He'd really take care of me. Ask me, how's everything at home? Blah, blah, blah. Everything's good. And then... Yeah, it's more fa- father figure, I guess. Damn, are, are well, you still in contact with, with Mr. Wall? Talked to him maybe a couple of months back. He watched my game last season for sure. Oh, shit. He watched one of the games, and uh, yeah, I was just really happy to see him. You know, every time I see him, I think about that skinny, bald headed Jeff, you know? Shit. Right. Why did you do that? You, you'd always go bald on yeah, winter? Winter? winter. In winter? In winter. I, I, I remember this. It was so, so weird. Uh, what, <laughs> what was that about? That, that whole bald. I have bald no thing. idea, dog. I have no idea. It's like my hair was too long during like winter time. So, like you know, it made it be so cold, and he would just suddenly like go bald. Okay, I, mean, I don't even know why. Shit. Okay, I don't even know why. So Mr. Wong pushes you in form four, and then the Nike League happens, and is that when the ball starts rolling? Okay, I can go. Yes, bro. that's where it just kept everything started. Like you know, how do I say this? Like it was just a dream, but I, was, I see it coming closer. You know, mm. like that. Okay, Nike League here in Hong Kong maybe. Other schools, they're like, ah, it's just Nike League, right? So, some students, like, even been there a couple of years. But it was my first ever thing, you know? Mm, yeah. Like, outside, outside Tai Yeah, sure. Yeah. Right? So, I was yeah. like, oh, shoot. I, I made it through the first round, second round, and boom. On the third round, I was in the team. So, I was like, you know, I could really compete. And we didn't win the whole thing for sure, but it just showed, like, I could really do it. The if pot- I really tried. Yeah, 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 it was there, it was there. So I just stuck with it, and never looked back, I guess. And you played center as positions? Or? I played center. Center, par forward. Mm. Yeah. 
I see. Yeah. I think that's kind of unique because I think for a lot of people, maybe my age or maybe Aro's age, I think it was the other way around. Their hoop dreams were very alive during their junior forms, mm. and it died off senior forms. So I think your one's kind of reverse, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Damn, okay. And so after Nike League, what was the dream though? Was it NBA? Was it uh, PBA? Was it uh, D1 in Hong Kong? What was it? P- PBA was always the goal, just because Omer. Okay. Oh, right? shit. Omer Iqbal. Right, yeah. you gotta go there. You gotta get there. You gotta make it. But I was just trying to get to a school first. Shout out to Omer. Shout out to Omer. It's Ramadan, so he's currently in Sunset Peak. Big dog. Holy shit. Is don't worry. Yeah, I've, I've caught him in Sunset a couple times during Ramadan. Same. Anyway, so keep going. The guy's insane. Yeah, that guy's different, different beast. Omer, so. if you're seeing this, let's catch you on the pod. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. Dude, That'd be hella fun. Dude, he doesn't even speak. Sorry. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Where, where were we? What was the route? Because What's the route? The route, yeah, yeah. The route like, was to, yeah, it's, of course, fly out to Philippines to get a scholarship through basketball, right? Mm. It's like the easiest I could like think of like a way in just to just to hoop. Mm. And I did I, I did set up a plan, right, with, with some friends that was like supporting me. And I just went for it. I just went for it. Uh, I walked in as a walk-in tryout. Like, they didn't know who I was. I didn't know what school they was. So I had a couple tryouts, and they told me to come back. We'll, we'll pay for your school. Wow. You got a oh, place shit. to stay. We'll give a little bit of allowance, you know. And yeah, that's how I got in. Shit. Yeah, just a walk-in tryout. Like, shit. Okay, okay, let's dig a bit deeper into that situation. Yeah. So you were Form 6, and you're graduating high school, and then you begin to, like, fly out? No, no. I took a get- I took one year just working. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, but before that, you already, you already made up your mind. You're like, yeah, I made up my mind. I just PBA. didn't know how to do it at that point, right? So okay. during that gap year, I made some connections that could like maybe help me out get into certain schools, right? right. Mm. But my, <laughs> my dad wasn't supportive of it for sure. Oh really? It's like, what are you gonna do? Who's gonna support you? Who's gonna watch over you? And I completely ignored that fact. So I kept on working, right, just to save up mm. plane ticket and like extra money once I get there. And then boom, I got everything done. I had the money. I booked it without telling him. And on the next day, I had to fly out. I showed him the ticket. He was mad, upset. But at the same time, I think he was happy. And so, then, yeah, I just went. Mm. I just took a leap and I just went. <laughs> Mind you this, I never been to Philippines uh, until until that time. Shit. The, last time, the last time I was in no Philippines wonder he before was pissed, that, then. I was like, yeah. Wait, so you think your dad was pissed because like, you you flying off by yourself or do you feel like there's something else to it do you feel like he was scared of you leaving him yeah he was one of those he was scared about my safety for sure mm. yeah uh for him he he might think i'm not like you know able to like take care of myself out there mm. by myself mm. that was his worry but i kept i was persistent i was like i'll be fine i'll just stay at school i'm just gonna try out and come back but then when i was there for tryouts they said just come back and he didn't expect that I would have to go back to the Philippines. Oh. Because yeah. after trial phase, I had to come back here. Mm. And I told him I got accepted to school, blah, blah, blah. And I'm flying out again in a, like, in a month or two. And it, at that point, he was like, all right, go for it. Damn. But then the first time, it, well, he, wasn't, he wasn't cool. And it was the first school you applied for that gave you that scholarship? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Damn, that's been crazy, yeah. huh? That's fucking insane. Uh, we tried out in a different bunch of schools. Oh, so it was like you go for one trip, but it's like a bunch of tryouts. Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. I think I did three school tryout. It was like Sambeda, Alabang, uh, Letran, and the other one's Our Lady of Fatima, which is the one I, I went to. So we're calling out the other two schools who didn't take them. Fuck you. Bro, Maybe. they're actually... <laughs> <laughs> they're not gonna see this Fine, right? fuck it you Fuck, fuck you too yeah, One of the school When I went there for a tryout Like They knew I was a tryout right Obviously they don't want Their spots to get taken right I didn't touch the ball For the whole practice Holy shit Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh right Cause you're competing With I'm actual keep, students yeah, yeah I'm trying to Take their spots right Oh right? There's only wow. how many What 12 man roster 14 man roster But that's part of it that's Damn what, yeah. I, I was just running Up and down no, but they didn't give you the ball. Nope. That's Whole cool. lot of running, though. Whole lot of cardio. That's shit, for sure. Shit. <laughs> Good thing or bad thing? That's uh, bad. I don't want to experience that again. Fuck. Okay. How would you feel? You're yeah, running up and down, not town. touching the ball. Oh, okay. I thought more like conditioning. Oh, yeah, you're right. No, it's, like, it's a try. Like, I uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Scrimmage. Yeah. scrimmage. Shit. And then imagine just doing suicide. You go out of town. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just good take point. the biggest risk of your life and you just go. Yeah, take that suicide. was brutal, right? Like, you fly out from Hong Kong. Like, wow. You're already like betting on yourself. Parents aren't yeah. happy as well. Shit, dude. But it was fun, though. A lot of. Uh, 
How do I say this? A lot of crazy hoopers, that's for sure. Mm. Levels are different, huh? Levels are different. Yeah. Would you feel like, um, because you mentioned earlier how you feel like a basketball is not just a physical game, mm. but do you feel like when you were there, like the physicality was so much more obvious that they're so much more athletic than you? Yeah, are? yeah, definitely. Shit. I, I came in there as a dummy. I thought I knew my shit. Also, oh, like it woke you up. It woke it. me up. It woke, like it blew my mind. Like, um, let's say. I had Coach Ralph. Uh, it was my college coach at the time. I think he's still the coach right now. He's a really smart guy. Like he, he really knows the game really well. Mm. Not just play randomly. Like uh, just pass cut. It's like strategic. There's a, there's a system, you know. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, I was so new to it. I didn't know what, what the fuck I was doing. <laughs> and then slowly, I, I learned how to read the game. You right? adapt to it through yeah. that school. It was really good experience, even though it was only like for a while. It was like two years. I was there for two years. That was still two years. Shit, two years. Yeah, but I learned a lot. Hoop wise, huh? Hoop yeah. wise. How about how about academic wise? Academic wise, hey, I, I went to I went to class. Yeah, I went to class. class. Come on, bro. I gotta be, show up. Yeah, yeah did you? Did, did, what were you majoring in? I was majoring uh, tourism and hospitality. Oh shit! Okay. Tourism and hospitality. Okay. Yeah, we had a project where we had to cook, dog. What did yeah. you have to cook? A double? I didn't cook. I helped them wash the dishes afterwards. <laughs> Someone's gotta do it though, right? I passed though. Uh, it's all that whatever works, man. Right. So, wait, did yeah, you graduate it. with the degree, or is it more? No, like no, no. It was it was only just quick two year, quick two year. Huh. Yeah, I was. It was a new year. Coaches mm. were looking for new players, I guess. Huh. And I guess I was one of the players that didn't make it to the next roster, like next year's roster. Mm. But he gave me an option, though. He gave me a bunch of like, well, you should try this school, you should try that school. I did. I went for a second run tryout after that two years in that yeah. school. Mm. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I was like, starting over again, new people. I like, get to know them, get to know the whole school, new system of basketball. I was like, I don't want to do it. And I was traveling from, let's say, central to Tongchong. That, but that's the LRT in the uh, Philippines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like a central to Tongchong trip. Mm. And it was hell, dude. It's like crowded, like, oh, just don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Okay. Sorry, man. That LRT Fuck. trip. Yeah. Fuck. Bro, I, I don't know if this is like censorship, but. I did like the the circumcision right on on that day, and my mom was like, "Bro, let's take the LRT. It's it's more convenient." So imagine like my, my schlong is like kind of freshly wounded, like we gotta sque- squeeze ourselves. Imagine that. <laughs> Damn, your mama did you dirty, huh? Yeah. yeah he was. Yeah, ru- she was like, "Yo, fuck." That fuck train your dick, is man. like rush hour whole day. Yeah, twenty four seven. Whole day. Yeah. Fuck. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Check it out. I Try about, it. I don't know about that, dude. <laughs> See what happens. I've seen the traffic. That's I've seen the traffic in Metro Manila. That shit's crazy, bro. Like Everywhere. it's a four hour like traffic thing for like a fifty minute ride. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And by the way, that was a, that's a public transport already. That's that a- LRT shit. It's already public transport. <laughs> shit, fuck that shit. That's a crazy. Okay, so then I eventually you didn't go to those two sc- the other two schools. Nah, I decided to come back. Oh, after I, that two years. After that two years, I was like, I don't think I could do this, guys. I was like. Boom, I came back. So then, like, the dream kind of... The tr- dream kind of slowly died out. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Because I was just tired of traveling to, to this place, just yeah. to try out that place. I actually went there for one whole week straight. I had to be there 7 a.m. in the morning. Holy I shit. Wake, I wake up 5 just to not catch traffic. Damn. Yeah, it was really tough. Yeah, I, I was going through some shit. So, yeah, after that, I decided to come back and just to work. And so then... After those two tryouts. So, the, the, the dream kind of put on pause? Would you say? It was... Darn your I, I, I wouldn't it. say pause, dude. I was like, I was like thinking, I was like, I think that's it. Like, I, that I was it. I think that was it. I was like, you know what? I'm done. Yeah, because it was like those two years of practice. It was like, even though it was like really beneficial for me as a like basketball player, but it was hella tiring. Mm. Day in, day out, getting beat up on the court, <laughs> right? It's, it's like just going to war, bro. Yeah, for real. But then, would you say like? Besides, like maybe the athletic ability from the players in the Philippines, Hi. was there any other difference between the Hong Kong and the Philippines? Passion, passion is the same. Okay, mm. passion is the same for sure. Okay, system wise, I think that's interesting. I feel like often a lot of Hong Kong players, well, maybe a lot of Filipino players who play in Hong Kong now, mm. who hoop with us, yeah. they would argue that maybe the Filipinos are a bit more passionate. But you think it's the same? I think it's the same. Both players got the same love for the game. Mm. So they just show it differently, I guess. Mm. Okay. Well, in Philippines, yes, it's a little bit more intense, a little bit more physical. Physical. Right? Yeah. In Hong Kong, it's the same thing. They could be physical. Mm. Right? It's, I think it's the same thing. Okay. Pretty much both sides. So, so just two, maybe two different play styles, I guess. 
Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah. Two different. Uh, yeah, for that, sure, you could put right? it. You could put you it that way. You could see it already. Like. So, uh, maybe explain a bit more. So, what? What's the difference in the oh, place house? Um, for, okay, from what I experienced in the Philippines, mm. they're not afraid to create for themselves. Like, uh. sure, we're running through a set, we're running through a, a play, but they're not afraid to like break through that play and just like have their own like just try to get a bucket basically. Mm. And here in Hong Kong, I notice it's like oh, every possession we're running play, 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 play. Oh, I see. There's no like you know, there's no creativity, I guess, in, in a way. So it's like by the book, in by a sense. By the book, yeah, 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 it's by the book. But would you argue that's because maybe, like you said, right? Maybe in the Philippines you have players who are so athletic, right? That mm. they can jump out the room. Shit. Yeah. Whereas maybe in Hong Kong players aren't as athletic, so uh. there is no like attribute that you could maybe yeah. be faster or jump higher, yeah. right? Maybe that might be the key right there. Because sure. like I swear, I I've seen some dudes that don't look like they hoop, but they could get up, mm. really they- get up. Okay. And then you notice a lot of hoopers here in Hong Kong, like they're really, they're really built. Yeah. Mm. But not all of them could get up, right? So mm. I was like, okay, maybe there is a difference, but overall, I feel like it's the same. Mm. But then also, I think in the Philippines, right, there is like a, a way to make it out, right? You can enter the PBA and make money, oh, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Whereas in Hong Kong, it's not really the case, right? Mm. I think that's that plays another big factor on why Filipinos like play differently they play like their life count like depends on it you know mm. like this is the only way they'll make it out they like they put that shit on on their shoulder mm. Mm. right and which is why this is which is where the passion comes out sure, yeah mm. like they're like bro it's time to go it's always go time it's when they go get time goal, bro. It's go time yeah 100 percent. it's like kind of making it out in a yeah, way there's like, no relax relax everybody's going trying to beat your ass mm. and take your spot shocking for me to see because i was never that hungry Mm. Like I always think about Yeah I want to do it I want to make it yada, yada, yada. But They're doing it mm. They're they're busting their ass off You know I was like okay I gotta I gotta be like that Get into their level At one point I was like Really just locked in Yeah But then At the same time It takes a, another level To keep it consistent You mm. know Like you could you, You'd want to want it For a while Yeah And then oh, I'll just chill out For a little bit And then you come back again those guys just consistent, consistent, consistent. It's, it's their only way out, right? Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Fun. Okay. And maybe going back to what you said earlier, right, about like, okay, that dream kind of dies and you come back to Hong Kong. Yeah. Now, obviously, like, we're here today because <laughs> it didn't really just die off. Nope. It, no, just kept on going, I guess. Yeah, so, so what maybe, like, re-sparked that fire for the passion of the game? Just opportunity, dude. I opportunity. wasn't expecting it. I was told to come play for, try out for Nam Ching. Right. Out of the blue, like yeah, I, I asked the teammate that was playing for Nam Ching at that time. I was like, "Yo, is there any chance I could train? Just train with you guys, not even play, right?" Mm. So I trained with them, and then told me to come back. Okay, right, sure, go back again. And then boom, why don't you just? I will send you the the whole month of practice, and you just keep showing up. So I stuck with it, right? I stuck with it, and then next thing I know, I was. Hey, you should play with us. So it was really just, hey man, teammate, what's going on? Yeah, I just yeah. want to play ball again. I think I was working for a little bit before before I asked him if I could hoop with Nam Ching at that time. Okay. Yeah, so I was really out of shape. Mm. Yeah, I just wanted to like, you know, see if I could still hoop. Okay. Yeah, but then apparently, I guess I did all right. <laughs> yeah. I guess I did all right. Yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Nothing flashy, but... He made like it I said, anyway, like man. I said, you don't have to be super athletic, right, to, mm. to play the game. You just gotta be really like smart in your own way. Mm. Right? You gotta be efficient, crafty, in your ways. Yeah. 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 And that's how, and that's how you got back to it, huh? And then, yeah. and of course, I had like friends. I, I asked my friends about it. Should I keep on doing this hoop shit? You know. And then, Carlos, Daniel, shout out to them. Bunch, shout out shout to you guys, out. dude. They were like, dude, you're the only one doing this. Why don't you just go for it? There's no one else, literally. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I went for it. Oh, I was like, I was doing a full time job. I told them I was like, I can't do full time, guys. I might need to like just. Pa- I can help you part time. Yeah. Because yeah. I got some hoop shit to to do. Yeah. yeah. So it kind of worked in my favor, I guess. That were you scared of restarting? Because you know, in a way, like you know, you had that heartbreak in the Philippines. Of course, of course. Because like I was like thinking, if I do this again, if I failed, I'll feel like there's no coming back. So it was really like that last shot. If it didn't work out, I was I was done. Yeah. Shit. Damn, so it really did work out at the end. Yeah, I guess I guess you could say. I feel, I feel like I got lucky, to be honest, dude. But but they say luck favors the the prepared, right? Ah, so even okay. though you might be lucky, but you were prepared as well. Fair. Uh, I guess you could say that, sure. Yeah. Nah, sure. man. Yeah. There, there has to be. Yeah. How many years in Namcheng? 
one year, COVID hit. Oh, right. It was three years, right? COVID? Ah. COVID was three 19, years? 19, 20, 21. 23, didn't it go to? 22. You had to wear masks in hoop for yeah, a bit, right? Yeah, we had to for wear masks sec, at yeah. one point. To, to practice. Oh, practice. To practice. How about matches? Huh? Not just, no, 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 we didn't have to. Shit. Uh, there was no season. There was no tournament during COVID. Yeah, season. they closed everything. They closed right? everything. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Shit. That's pretty fucked. You kind of go through this whole journey, right? Of Nam Ching, and obviously you get to like you go to South China, which is yeah. basically the biggest team we have in Hong Kong. Amongst this whole like the roller coaster you've been through, what would you say is like the worst experience you've had? Maybe the worst moment you've had besides giving up, right? Was it like a story where like it really hit home? Like, yo, that shit was tough. That was really dark. Damn, I feel like I had a plenty of I had a bunch of those in my in my life, you know. Mm. But if I had to choose one, mm. it was during Nam Ching days. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I tried out with them. They told me to come back. Right, mm. it's been a year. Yeah, and then I think comp like tournament was about to come. Right, it was about to start, and they choose they choose the final fourteen players. Mm. I wasn't in it. Oh, oh I wasn't shit. chosen. So yeah, they told me I didn't make it to the roster, and then that's where I, like I said, I tr- I tried giving up hoop a bunch of times. Mm, yeah, yeah. So I think that was one of the last straw, right? Boom! I hopped on to another full time job, mm. and the next thing I know, when season was about to start, like the players from Nanjing messaged me, right? They're like saying, "Oh, one of the one of the guys that plays my position, yeah, busted his knee." Oh, okay. And then they were like. We might need you to come back. Mm. Yeah, I was like so heated. I was like, bruh, I, I, I've been working four months straight and you tell me to come back now. Mm. Yeah. Right? So I'm at, at that point, I'm like, you know, I'm not really in shape. But I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to come back. Let's do this. And then it turned out to be great, actually. As you were there for the last game, it really turned out really good. Right? I, I, I averaged, I wouldn't say a lot of points, but I was like, it was double digits. There were some 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 games where you I popped was, off. I popped off like like mm. I was like doing stuff at both sides of the court, yeah, like offense on defense. Offense. No, we defense. watched some of the games. Yeah, I do remember. Oh, watching yeah, Nam we Ching. did. I, I, I didn't. I haven't seen any of your South China games, but I've been to your uh, Nam Ching games. games. Yeah, I remember. Nam Ching, I remember. Yeah. So yeah, so as as I was like thinking, should I go back? That's where Carlos and Daniel kicked in. Actually, mm. I had I had long talks with them about what I, what I should do. Mm. And then they were like, go for it. Go for it. I was doing bartending at the time. They were like, dude, bartending, you could do this anytime, any mm. day, any, anytime you want in, like, in your lifetime. But hoop, hoop, it only comes like once in a while type shit. Yeah. yeah. yeah so There's a timer yeah, for sure. I sucked up like all like the bad memories I have with basketball. I sucked it all up. You know what? Let's give this another try. Turned out great, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Bro, so turn out really when good. When we watched this Nam Ching game, because I haven't watched you play after high school. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. When we watched this Nam Ching game like that time, I already knew I was like, bro, this this guy's he's actually he has a he has a goal to reach, bro. Yeah. Like he has like he wants to reach that goal. Mm. In Nam Ching. So I was yeah. like yeah, you were there for the last game, huh? Yeah. Yeah, even though the last game didn't mean anything, I was like, bro, I, 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 I had to do I something. Already, bro. Shit. The, the boy, the whole, yeah, the whole crew was there, bro. I remember. <laughs> yeah, bro, but I don't know. Good. I don't know if I was on that last game. Not you. I don't, think I I don't know. I don't think you were there. Nope. But yeah, it was, um, hard, oh, this bro. is one that everyone went to. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, couldn't yeah, make I, it. I, I forgot it. why. Yeah, I couldn't make it. I remember yeah. that one. Shit. Tough. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wasn't the one though. I, I was, ah, you're good, you're good. You're good. <laughs> no, I was just, I remember this one game. I was screaming my lungs out. I remember. Yeah, I remember. I was like, yo, that's my dog, bro. Oh, no, you did. I shot a three and you're like, hey, let's go. Oh, yeah. You remember that? You remember? Yeah. Hey, let's go. Oh, that shit went in. You were there. No, I wasn't in for the it last against, game. But it was, was against Easter. It was against Easter. And I think that's when you popped off. I was like, yo. No, that, that shot I took was my last shot of the game. Oh, really? Well, shit, you made it. That's all that matters. Wow. Yeah, I made it. Dude. Hey man, look, I was screaming even if even if you were on the bench. I'm gonna look for that video. <laughs> I swear everyone was quiet as I, as I took that shot. You were like, hey, yo, let's go. No, but again, going back to that, like I could tell there's like a big difference mm. in performance mm. yeah. from high school to that Nam Ching yeah. game. Bro, totally different draft, bro. Shit. No, you know what? Actually, yeah, I think that's going to lead up to the next thing as well. I, I mm. want to talk about that as well. Like, yeah. Because for those who don't know, we also have like kind of wrecked leagues around Lantau as well. We recently played a game with Jeff. And obviously, like being Jeff's junior, right, you always got a custom of seeing how he played. And same thing like Ariel, so we only saw him play since high school. Yeah. 
And then out of after like how many years we finally get to play against him on the same court. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I still remember the first opening game we played against Jeff. And I still remember he had this one play on the baseline, bro. Le- left side. <laughs> Me and my other two like teammates, bro, we try to stop him. And I swear, bro, like he just like maneuvered through the th- room like it was nothing. Like we meant nothing to him. <laughs> and instead of just finishing up like the front of the rim, he chose to reverse it, bro. Like it's just like child's the, play at this point. You gotta avoid the shot blocker yeah. somehow, no, he's, right? No, he's talking shit. Nah, he he's just flashing with it. I gotta, <laughs> no, but, I gotta imagine there's a seven foot. <laughs> exactly. Block. No, no <laughs> but I want. That's what I'm trying to say. So I, I want to say, like, do you feel like the games changed for you as well? Do you feel like it's slower, or maybe like when you play against your other friends, definitely. you aren't as definitely equipped? Definitely. I mean, playing with with guys that are so talented, so like so good at the game, mm. you have no choice but to catch up with them, right? Mm. So as I catch up with them, and then I come back playing with my friends, like just normal hoop friends, and then I see I see everything so slow. Mm. Like maybe not super slow, but I feel like I trying could, to be humble. Yeah, you, I mean you could I could read the game like, oh I see that guy trying to go for a cut. Maybe I could hit him right away. Mm. Like like when we play basketball, is when we're just like freestyling, right? Yeah, we're yeah. doing runs. Yeah, doing so runs. I guess if you were to put me in a team, like just uh, normal hoopers. I feel like I'm LeBron or something, you know. Mm. I so feel like it's very uh, evident. I, I remember that, that last weekend as well. Uh, oh yeah, it does feel that way. Yeah, it, it, so I don't know how to explain it. It's just maybe I've been hooping for way too long, I guess. Yeah, there's, mm. and there are levels to it at the yeah. end of the day, right? Like no, and you have yeah. a different perspective in in the court. Yeah. Compared to let let's say for example the team of yours. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about uh, Lake Show? Lake Show. Lake Show. Uh, I mean, I'm not trying to like... Just Shout out Lake boys. Show, man. Yeah. We lost, but we're going to get it next year. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're, they're going to change is... teams again, though, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Ah, all right, all right. It's, yeah. like, it's another rotation, shit. another draft. Never mind. Anyway. Yeah. But yeah, it's like... You can tell that your perspective in basketball is totally different from theirs because they see it as, oh, pass ball, pass ball, score. Mm. Whereas you see it as find the opportunity yeah. like, a, like a open one it's, and then it's more like creating yeah, opportunity creating yeah. the opportunity yeah. Yeah. and so, then making that efficient shot mm, yeah usually people would just find try to find it mm. but sometimes you just got to do something just to make it happen you yeah know? yeah and i saw it clearly there's this one game he uh i, I forgot what team they, they were playing against uh-huh. you were you were trying to create a space for david and you kept pushing him. You're like, bro, cut this way, cut yeah, that way. Yeah, You're like yeah. just telling him to do shit. Yeah. And it was working for a second. Yeah. You really be like that sometimes. Mm. If if you see a way you could score 10 points with it, why change? If exactly. it ain't broke, don't fix it. If I could score with David just clogging around the paint area, I just got to get get him the ball, right? Just feed yeah. it. Yeah, if it doesn't work, all right, let's do something. Else. <laughs> it's really just be like that. At this point right now, maybe coming back to like current day, uh, off season right now, but season starts around the corner. Around uh, the corner, you're yeah. right. So, what's what's the what's the plan? Are you gonna stick to this Namcheng? Are you planning to move? Are you? Is somehow all of this momentum gonna give you encouragement to go back to the PBA? Uh, what's going on in Jeff's head? I yeah. haven't I haven't really thought that far. It's it's very hard to think ahead, right? Like yeah. five years away or like maybe a couple years away. So I just try to take it like you know one year at a time. Okay. I'll focus this season first. Okay. If I do well. Maybe it opens up door for whatever happens next. Okay. Right. So I'm just Good trying point. to focus on like really this season, right? Mm. So hopefully PBA, the PBA path comes, you know, comes back. Right. You okay. know, so maybe. The, okay. If I do really, really good, maybe I get scouted or some shit, you know. So there's still dreams for that. There's still hopes. Of course, of course. That's every Hooper's dream, you know, to, yeah. to play really good and get scouted for another team outside yeah. Hong Kong, outside your, your where you grew up on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Leave your hometown. Type yeah, so I don't know. For now, of course, I dream of it, right? Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. But for now, for now, just take it slowly. Yeah. So, so is that like more conditioning? Like more conditioning, more, everything. more reps. Are you, guys, are you trying to like crank up like I'm trying to bro. I'm trying to bro do I look like an athlete too honestly I've seen better I mean right. we've seen better right yeah so I'm trying to at least you know, I gotta look like an athlete be be more of an athlete you know how's your diet looking like diet yeah no no diet no diet no diet no diet, no diet. Look, I think like extra rice all day shit extra <laughs> rice fuck 
<laughs> because I think like uh, even now in NBA, right? Everyone's talking about oh yeah, eating this, eating that. Like you know, Chris Paul's a fucking vegan now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris Paul's a vegan. I think that's kind of stupid though. And then, but then ironically, sometimes you hear about how horrible some of the diets are, right? Yeah. yeah. Like I've heard stories how LeBron has an amazing diet, mm-hmm. but then again, some people say he's a horrible diet where he just eats candy and sweets. So I was just kind of wondering how your one is as well. I'm not really picky with food. It's- so whatever's cooked on the table, I'll fucking eat it. If it's like from veggies to okay to junk food, I'd I'd eat. She okay. I'd eat regardless. She. Right. He'd eat but, anything. But but she eat anything, anything, huh? That's what he's trying to. Say. Pause. <laughs> what, which, what's your preferred cuisine? Like uh, <laughs> Filipino food or like Chinese food? Uh, Filipino food is for sure. Oh, right, sure. but Korean Korean foods, it's nice. You know sure. there's stews. Oh mm. yeah, stews. Those are fire. Those are fire. And other than Korean, maybe Mexican food, man. Shit, Mexican Nothing food. Nothing can go wrong with burritos. Shit. You like, you like Indian food, bro? Indian food? Yeah. Yeah, I fuck with Indian food, bro. I would, I would fuck with Indian food all day. Yeah. That's your that's your type? Indian is cool. I was talking to a friend about this as well. We're going to actually divert as well. Top three cuisines. Who would you put, bro? Top cuisines? Yeah, yeah top three. Top three. I'll go Korean. Korean? Shit, okay. Like, have you tried their, their beef? Like the one that just melts in your tongue. Oh, you mean the, like the uh, A five? I, I think so. Wagyu? Is no, it, Korean. I, know, bro. I have no idea what is it. No, I, I, all it, I know, I've been to this Korean restaurant one time. I forgot where it was. Somewhere in Causeway. So they had this meat, right? And you just cook, the, cook it, right? Barbecue it, and then the moment it gets into your mouth, it, the meat just pause. The meat just melt in your tongue. Pause again. Yeah. Hey, resume. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Hey, Korean, yeah. Korean meat hits different, man. Hey, yo. Okay, other than Korean food, it's got to be from the homeland, Filipino food. Okay. For sure. Oh. For sure. Shit. And my third one, Hong Kong food, just because I grew up here. Shit. Yeah, I really do enjoy Hong what's Kong your food. Go-to, what's your go-to Chinese? Yeah. Like Chinese food? Yeah. yeah I'm a guess. I bet you're like... A, you can guess. You can guess. Yeah, Chao Chao Fan. Oh, what's your guess? Cha Siu. Cha Siu. It's Cha Siu Yao Gai Fan. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, okay. That's lit. That's okay, lit. That's I like cool. it. That's okay. fire. I just had them this afternoon. Shit. Oh, for real? Oh, no oh. cap. No oh, cap. Bro, the fact shit. that it's affordable too, man. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Siu Mei Fan so good, bro. Well, so, sure. It's the it's the pick one pick one thingy, you know? What? Yeah, rice with two ulam. Yeah, two. Oh, two, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's okay. that shit. Some shit like that. Okay. Okay, before we kind of wrap up, obviously, with this section of the interview, I think... I think one thing I also want to ask about is um, maybe the word, the term balance. Hi, yeah. Because I think like whether it be someone trying to balance their career or their, their passions, right? It's very difficult, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And being a hooper, right? I think training comes to mind, right? Like mm-hmm. sometimes maybe like you can't hang out with your friends. Maybe you can't have a drink as much because you have to train, right? Yeah. How have you found, has it been difficult for you to balance things? And if it is like, how are you trying to find ways to cope with it? Well, it's fucking f- f- finding the balance is really, really difficult because I got teammates that be coaching the whole week while they're training at night. Oh, yeah. shit. Okay. So, so I asked them, how, how do you guys do this? And then they were like, you just do it. You just strap on your shoes and do it. Mm. Right? But finding the balance is like, you got to be really organized. I think. Time management Time and everything. Management. Yeah. I, I don't have that. Mm. I, I, Me neither. I don't have that. So I'm still trying to figure it out, to be honest. Like, when I should work out, hope hope it doesn't crash with work or mm. my training doesn't crash with coaching kids. Mm. So I'm still really trying to figure it out, to be honest. And how would you balance it with like friends and family, maybe loved ones, partners and shit? I mean, the good thing about my friends, I mean, it's not like I hang out with them every single day, right? Mm. So that if they ask me to hang out and, and I say I can't, they would be like, okay, cool. Like they understand. They're, they know. They know I'm, I'm. I'm doing something else. So, yeah. they're it's kind of supportive in in their own way. It's not like where. Oh, sorry guys, I can't. And they go like, man, you barely hang out with us, yeah. just cause you're 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 hooper now. Don't you know, don't want to hang. Do yeah, that. they don't do yeah. that. Yeah. Well, that's so good. I'm grateful for yeah, that. he does that to me all the yeah. time. Mark, like, we, did, we did that to Mark. Yeah, fuck you know what? Yeah, fuck Mark, man. But anyway. <laughs> He was our guest last week. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good, too. Yeah. I, I, have you found it kind of difficult? Because I think... Shit, cause I, there's, there's an example I want to bring up. I feel like if I do bring it up, it puts that person on the spot. That, so, that person on the spot? Yeah, yeah. Because obviously, like, um, when we started this interview, right, I kind of said like, how you're a hometown hero, right? And okay, I feel like for appreciate a lot, I, that, man. Yeah, no, but I do really mean that, right? That's and crazy. I think, like, 
No, I feel like, you know, I'm the type of guy who I feel like if it's, you know, if it's true, it's worth saying it, mm. right? And I remember at a time where, like, I think you were going through, like, you were in a relationship with someone. Yeah. And I think at the time, it's like, it must be difficult, right? Because, like, when you have a partner, right, they want so much of your time. Uh. But not everyone's going to understand how, like, how an athlete's schedule is, right? Because you might not have time to be up all night, yeah. hang out all the time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Do you feel like that's been difficult for you to, like, maybe find a partner outside? Like, like me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, talking about my relationship. Like, yeah, yeah. Is it difficult? Your to love life. Love life. Your okay. love life. What's, yeah, yeah. what's it oh, like? I'm not going to lie. It is tough finding mm. the balance between your partner and something you want to achieve, right? Mm. You gotta give time for this person. Yeah. At the same time, you gotta give time for whatever you're trying to achieve. Mm. Right. Best best case is you have a you have a partner that's willing to support you. Okay. Right. Some people might not fuck with that. Ah, oh, you're always so focused on your goal. What yeah. about me? Yeah. Right. So, I mean, you just gotta find the right person to be honest. Because like some people might not support your goal, or like some people might like just bring you down. Yeah. And then. Usually that don't really go so well. I, I've seen, I've seen like where they took their par- uh, their attention to their partner and just forget about their goal. Mm, I see it fun. happen. Like it, it happens, which is just normal. It's fine, right? But you gotta have like both, like a partner and your goal. That's mm. gotta be like they gotta be. She, yeah, she's willing to support it. Yeah, yeah, she's willing to support. And you're willing. You're supposed to be. You know, you're supposed to support her as well yeah. and whatever she's doing. Is, is that why uh, you've been single for so long? Uh, nah, uh, about, about singles. <laughs> the hoes gonna see this, man. <laughs> no, no, but for real though, the reason why I've been single is just. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I think it's one of the reasons. I'm just trying to make sure if I find that person, like you know, supportive, you. loyal. Yeah, loyal. loyal. Sh- sh- like yeah, shot. Don't want nobody that belongs to the streets. Yeah, they belong to the streets, whoever you are. Shit, sensational. Sensational, sensational. Okay, uh, anything else that's going on besides basketball? Are there any new hobbies you picked up? Any new interests? He's been playing golf. Like, yeah, you playing golf? You, are you yeah. doing croquet? Uh, I'm, sh- I'm sure trying to find out stuff I'm good at outside hoop. Yes. Oh, so you you supposed yeah, to yeah, because yeah. it can't be all hoop all the time, right? True. Yeah. Right? I, I've been. It's an alternative. You know, yeah, I, yeah, I swear, bro, man, Jeff's a funny motherfucker. I can see him do stand up. I, I feel like you mad funny. What the bro. Fuck am I gonna do in stand up, man? Fucking stand up. I don't know why. He's I literally just gonna stand up. No, he's not gonna say. You don't think he's funny? Before. I think man's f- mad funny. Man. <laughs> yo, yo, I just wanna clarify for those because you got, you don't understand what happens at the back, right? <laughs> Jeff, Lee mentioned today that like, he was gonna ditch the party because <laughs> he was like mad, like shy. So. I wasn't gonna come in today, guys. <laughs> well, guess what he did? Uh, he, he showed, I showed up. up. That's we it. Here. That's it. Yeah. And, that's all, and that's all that matters, man. Okay. Well, all the run started. Okay, before we log off, is there anything else you want to let people know? Is there anything else you know you want to get off your chest? Tom Jai. Yeah, whether it be, ah, um, oh, let them know when it comes to your games. Uh, you want to shoot. say to the crowd. You know, if, for the people out there, for young guys out there trying to chase the hoop dream, keep going. Mm. Uh, you might, you might see obstacles or you you might see a dead end but it's not really a dead end you just gotta persevere oh, yeah. oh. It's good words, nah, that's it's good words. Words yeah. <laughs> I don't know just basically keep going you know yep. don't mind what other people say behind your or, or outside people say about mm-hmm. you if you believe you could do it that's all that matters to be honest yeah sure. check out the game this coming season SCAA support us wearing red thanks socials socials uh so- Follow Jeff. So IG. Eh, eh. Have a Anything else you want to follow you on besides IG? Only fans. <laughs> Only fans. <laughs> Tinder. Uh, Friday. Uh, so, <laughs> Shit. All right. Good. Good.